Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm out here in my woods. I got about three acres right above my house. Down there's my house. I got about three acres of woods and it burnt. Caught on fire and burnt. Um, I would say about five, six years ago now. So I'm just gonna take you for a short walk through the woods and show you a little bit how it recovered and honestly the way I think it did not recover I think it really long term caused more damage than good so let's just walk around here a little bit see what we see now I guess for example you can see this log here it's still got some of the charring on it like I say it's been a while maybe five six years um, it was probably standing during the fire, but it was probably already dead. This tree here, you can see a uh, poplar, still good and alive, but yeah, I really think that dead around the bottom is because of the flame, the fire. Uh, I might be wrong on that, um, but I think you'll see, you'll probably agree with me after a while that even if it's not the case on that particular tree. That's what's happened on a lot of this. Now it was early spring when it happened and about everything that had greened up died. All the little trees, you know, anything this size and over, a matter of fact, this is a good example right here. This tree is probably dead because of that fire. And you know, that's a good little tree. That if that was six years ago, that tree would be a good size by now, but it's not, it's it's dead. And you can see I've got quite a few of those like that. There's a big tree that's leaning, falling over. I think it was probably dead before that's why it burnt. They don't burn unless they uh, are dead already. So they were like big, tall, flaming towers. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. Uh, but that's a good example. So it didn't hurt that tree, it was dead already. And same with this one, it just fell. But it was a, a standing dead tree. It was kind of interesting how they would burn just up by themselves, not having anything near them. You can see how far up they burnt. Uh, but especially when you get up on here. Hope this tree don't fall on me. I'll walk under it. But you get on up here, you'll see even more what I'm talking about. This tree would be bigger now, but it's dead because of the fire. And you've got these sprouts coming out from around beside it. Um, look at this one here. Kind of got these sprouts. It's actually still alive, this little tree here. But yeah, it's got the sprouts coming out at the bottom because it's just damaged. And if you look right up to it, even though the tree's still alive, you know, you got some growth there. Look at this. That tree's as good as dead. It'll never become a big tree. That's why it's sprouting out from the bottom. And it's just kind of real bushy. And if you look around up here, it's like that all over the place. So there's another little dead one. And the bigger problem, you know, I lost a lot of little ones. You know, good little trees. That's a dogwood. It would have never been much. But a lot of, you know, little oak trees that size, that would have been good to have here years down the road. But the bigger deal is what it did to the big trees. The big trees, for the most part, are okay. Here's a good healthy one here. And it wasn't a real intense hot fire. So for the most part, it didn't burn the bottoms of the trees. Sometimes you see a little darker on the upper side. You can't really see it on this one, but you can see it down here on these others. For example, right here. Sun's kind of bright today. You can see, see right there. The upper side on this side, um, I guess just the flames rolled around on that side and it kind of scorched it a little bit. And the, the side the flame came from, it was coming from this way, uh, didn't hurt it too bad. I uh, believe that's a poplar and it's, it's good shape. But I've had on a lot of my oaks, especially the red oaks, I've had a blight go through. And it's been giving me trouble for a while, but I really think that this fire 
weakened all the trees. Even though it didn't kill a lot of the big ones, it weakened a whole lot of them. And I've lost just a lot of big red oaks since then, which I've really hated to see. And then not only that, but I've lost a lot of, see there's a big red oak, good sized red oak, it's dead now. It's probably got that blight, but I honestly think the fire had something to do with that. So not only did I lose my big trees, some of my big trees, especially the red oaks and a few others. A lot of my medium trees were damaged. Um, I can take you and show you some of them, but, but you'll just believe me there, I guess. <laughs> a lot of my medium trees were damaged. You can see them kind of half dead now, even though they're still alive. Have some, have some green in the top. They're still alive, but they're not really. They'll never amount to be a big tree. They're gonna die, they'll fall over. Some of them's been falling on their own because of, they're just, they're just damaged. So I lost some big trees, damaged a lot of medium-sized trees, and, you know, the blight since then has taken a lot of them because of that. And of course, all the little trees, you know, all the ones, um, you know, big, big around as a softball or, or smaller, you know, trees that would be filling the spots of these big ones I've lost their toast they I lost all of those so I'm really kind of behind and I'm really it's just a, kind of bushy the whole woods is I think and yeah the, you know people were bragging on it at first like oh that cleared out all the brush and stuff and that, that's gonna be so great it's going your woods is going to, going to flourish now and I don't think it has I think it's caused more damage than been good by far I know I still got a lot of good trees can't complain there uh, but it's just not quite the same as what it was. So just thought I'd give that little report for me, you know, a, a fire early spring, right when things were greening up and coming out, uh, what happened. And, you know, here I am five, six years down the road and what it looks like now. Uh, so gives you a good idea. Right here's a good example of a medium tree I was talking about. Good and alive, plenty of limbs. Looks good on one side, but you get on this other side, that's a dead tree. That tree will never amount to anything, and that's because of the fire right there. So, that gives you an idea of what fires can do. Uh, of course, this one would have been dead, too. Would have been one of those torches uh, dead before the fire, but um, I really think it caused a lot of damage. So, something to think about. If you've had some forests that burned lately, is what all timber you're going to lose long term. Anyway, we'll see you later. Bye.